Oh, fellow diecasters, and welcome to another insanely episode of Diecast Insanity. Hope you guys have been having a great week. Hope you guys have found the cars you're looking for, or hope you've gotten some of the customs you've been wanting to get done done, and uh, all of that. Um, I know I said last week when we did the 1998 first edition episode that we were going to be back doing the painting on the the Bronco, but I forgot it's it's a bi-weekly featured car weekend. So we're going to do that, and then next weekend we'll be back on the Bronco and doing a couple other things. So sorry about that. I don't, I have, like you guys know, I have another channel called Slot Car Crazy, and I'm trying to balance the bi-weeklies and the main episodes there, so I'm not doing main episodes both weekends and, and bi-weeklies. Bi-weeklies the same weekend, they're balanced out, so I'm doing a long video and a short video, not a, not a long, long and a short, short. So, But uh, today we're going to go back in time a little bit. We're going to take a look at a car that I had as a kid and that I recently re-picked up uh, at a at an antique store. If you guys saw the, the trip episode, um, you guys saw me pick this car up. This is a, um, came out, this is a, I think this is a 70 if I remember right. But this is a really cool car. I love this car. Had it as a kid, saw this at the antique store. It was only three bucks. And I thought I'd pick it up, and it's in a really great shape. The wheels are in great shape and everything. So let's take a look at this car. It is the Jack Rabbit Special. This is a U.S. car. As you guys can see on the bottom, this is a U.S.-made car here. Um, they were, back in the day, they were either U.S. cars or Hong Kong cars. And I think the difference is the U.S. cars have a black interior. And the Hong Kong cars have a white interior, but this is a really cool car. I love this car as a kid. Um, I don't know ever don't know what happened to mine, but when I saw this, you know, the memories of having it as a kid and wanting it back just kind of overwhelmed. So I just picked it up. It's in great shape, as you guys can see. The back hatch opens on this to reveal the engine in the back. This is kind of like a kit car of its day, probably on a Volkswagen Bug chassis. But really cool car. Really stylish car. Really, really neat car. I think it's one of one of my favorite older cars. As you guys can see, both sets of wheels on this car are in great shape. The only one is this one here. The back one here is a little bent down, but not bad at all. Not for, for a $3 car, this thing is really, really cool. Really, really worth the price. Um, if you guys can find one cheap like that i'd suggest picking one up it's a great addition to a collection whether you're whether you're a new casting collector or an old casting collector or you just collect everything in hot wheels it's it's just a cool addition to the cool cool addition to the to your collection as well um there is a few quite a few listed on ebay right now um there's some out of the package there's some in the package uh there's this one right now that's buy it now and it's just like this one, so it's a U.S. car, uh, black interior. <clears throat> Come on, phone. Let's see if it shows me the bottom here. Yeah, see, it is a U.S. car, so it might, I think my bet's right that uh, that the Hong Kong cars are black in, are white interiors, and the U.S. cars are black interiors, as you can see right there. Uh, this is a buy it now for 20 bucks. So if you a little more expensive than what I paid for mine, they look like they're pretty much in about the same shape though. So you're paying a little more there. Um, there's a couple in the package uh, right here, carded. Uh, yeah, and this is original. This is a buy it now. This is $85. So if you actually want one in the package, this is a little more spendy. But, uh, and that also has a black interior, so that's probably also a U.S. car. Here is a one with white interior. Let's see if it shows the bottom. Uh, this has nine bids on it. It's currently at ten fifty. Now that also says USA. Okay, so it uh, the, the interior doesn't denote whether it's a U.S. or a Hong Kong car. And as you can see, this one has clearer windows. So there is a white interior with clearer windows. <coughs> and mine, as you can see, mine has the dark tinted window. So, but this is also a nice car for uh, 1050. So, 
But there's quite a few. There's uh, at least one, two, three, four. There's one in a, in a group. There are five. Uh, looks like six, seven, eight, nine. There's quite a few on eBay right now. Various prices, various conditions. They all, actually, they all look like they're in great shape, but they're all listed at different prices, as high as $25 to start, and as low as uh, one starting at $0.99, cents, one starting at $7, so quite a few on eBay right now. So if you want to pick up this classic from 1970, go go on eBay and, and look around and see which one you want. So hope you guys have a great week. I hope you find what you're looking for. We'll be back on the Customs next week working on Elijah's Bronco. And um, that's today's episode. Remember, leave some on the pegs for us other collectors so we can go out and find the cars that we want to pick up too. And uh, keep up the good work. Keep up the things. Um, I should have the light group up and running here pretty soon. So be on the lookout for, for Diecast Insanity on, on Facebook on the group page. And uh, be on the lookout for that. I should be able to get that up and, and, and go in here pretty soon. There will be some criteria with that. You either will have to be a friend of mine on Facebook or you'll have to be a member of another Diecast group or have likes for diecast in your like group on Facebook. So there is some criteria for that. I don't want just anybody on the group page. I want people that are actually in the hobby and that are actually passionate about the hobby to be part of this group. There will be no selling on the group, but there will be it will be a place for you guys to post pictures of your cars, your your buys, your customs and all of that stuff. We may even be able to have some custom contests on there and whatnot. So uh Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next weekend with a new Customs 101 episode. Bye.